G'day, Nick here from Animal Engineering. So today we're gonna to make a start on transferring all this orange goodness into some stainless bends and pipe. So yeah, we'll get onto it. So as I said in the last episode, we'll start with the two on this side that come through and cross over to the middle two cylinders. And then from there, we'll work on the back cylinder and the front cylinder. So yeah, we'll make a start. All right, so as you can see here, this is the first pipe I'll be working on. And you can see here, they've got the, the arrows I was mentioning. So basically, wherever they don't line up, we're here, here, there's a cut and a weld. So yeah, we'll break this apart and uh, transfer it to the elbows. Alright, so that's the uh, first head of tube done. Comes out and around and down into the second cylinder there. So we'll uh, take it out and go check it out. Alright, so you can see there they're pretty similar. I did give it a couple little tweaks as I was going. Uh, you'll see this angle here has changed a little bit from what I've got there. Managed to get it just uh, coming a bit squarer out of the head. Sort of float a bit nicer. So yeah, it's definitely a handy bit of gear. You can see the angle here, slightly different as well. Alrighty, so we're on day two. So yesterday I managed to get the two from this side coming through, going to the middle two cylinders there. First one was really easy. Uh, second one bit me in the ass a little bit. I think I was a bit too impatient. I didn't actually use the modeling box to sort of prep it up and model it properly before I carried on. But yeah, so you can sort of see We've got a lot more gap here now, going to the uh, first cylinder there. So I'll be able to get that first header pipe coming under there and into this space and then over to here without going underneath and doing all the crazy stuff it was before. So yeah, today we'll start off, we'll quickly um, I'll model up the back cylinder and we'll do that one and then we'll move on to the front one. Hopefully this is smashed out today. Now one thing I haven't been very mindful of is these two here going to off to the right bank here, that header will be coming out first once it's all assembled. So I need to make sure that I've got room here 
to be able to lift this header out. So at the moment I've got a nice gap there. And I can easily, easily move that uh, header out of the way. And also I've got the snaking through here. I've got plenty of room in here to bring the front cylinder through. So yeah, we'll um, transfer all this, transfer this section to stainless and then uh, we'll carry on. All right, well that's the uh, header tube to the back cylinder done. Now you probably noticed that I sort of mocked it up to start with, and then I ended up just using little sections at a time. It's basically my little, my plan of going two inch, three inch, two inch, three inch, and hoping it to kind of work out with the center line of the bends I've got. Did kind of work in the sense that it gave me the, the length of the bend and, the, and that, but once you actually put the blocks on the bends themselves, the angles coming off the blocks, weren't really going to the center of the actual bends I've got because you had a two inch which was cutting in past it and the three inch was sort of going past it as well. So they weren't really lining up with the middle of the bend. So the blocks are definitely still, for someone who's never actually built a set of headers before having these blocks are still, still made my life a hell of a lot easier because you can just sort of make up a few little pieces, aim it, work it, tweak it, go cut the bend as opposed to trying to hold, you know, elbows and bends there and muck around, you know, you just quickly grab grab the different blocks, clip them together, and um, yeah, just made it, made it a lot easier. And I think, um, see there, it's, I'm pretty bloody happy with that. It's looking awesome. So yeah, we just can't wait. We'll get it, start on this next tube here, for net, uh, Start on this next tube now, the front one. Um, this one I'm going to model the whole thing because all these other ones are around 37, 38 inches. And obviously this one here, I'm only going from the front here to here. So it's not a very long distance to travel. So I'm going to have to try and bend it and snake it around and try and work out a good way to try and keep it a similar length to the others. So yeah, five more tubes to go, a bit of weld, and then we'll do wah, bah, bah, bah. What? Fuck, drifting this thing. All right, so there you go. That's the uh, driver side header finished. Wow, I'm stoked about that come out. That was bloody amazing. Um, I'll sort of bring you in for a bit of a closer look. But yeah, I'm super pumped with how that's come up. Using these modding blocks has just made it so much easier. Like I've never, never ever made an exhaust or headers before and trying to tackle a project like this. For me personally anyway, I think without these blocks would have just been a nightmare. 
even though they didn't really match up with the bends that well. So yeah, if I go back in time, I think I'd definitely pay the freight and actually get some bends out of out of America, and uh, yeah, get them over here so I could actually use these blocks as they're supposed to be supposed to be used, and probably actually buy their jig as well for cutting them. And but yeah, really, really happy with how it's come up. Yeah, you can see it's all in there, nice, tightly packaged. Nothing sitting on anything, it's all got clearance all the way around it, which is good. Plenty of clearance there. Got these uh, little heat boots there, which I'll put on all the other cables as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do the old thumbs up, give it a like. And uh, yeah, so the next one will be uh, tackling the passenger side. So I'll just mock that up and do it all in one video. Just a real quick short one, I think, next one. So yeah, cheers for watching.